Hi guys, Danny here. Today we are going to be doing some more 3D printing. We're going to be printing Rocky from Paw Patrol. Stay tuned. So I'm going to be giving you an in-depth look on how to print this file. I'll be showing you the printing process. I'll also be painting the model. So I thought this would be an interesting video. What I like about printing um, maybe what you could call toys or cartoon characters is you can give these to uh, children in your family or you can paint them with them. This is also really nice to get their creative side flowing. So let's check it out. We're going to go to our favorite web browser. We're going to go to our search and type in Thingiverse. Let's go into Think of Us. In the search, we're going to type in Rocky Paw Patrol. This is the model we'll be using today. You should always check the summary for any recommended print settings. This file does not appear to have any. We're going to go ahead and click download all files. Save this to our desktop. We're going to extract the files using WinRAR. Here are our files. Our print file is in files called rocky underscore simplified. This is a .stl file. We're going to open Cura. I'm using Cura 2.7. So we're going to drag our print file into Cura. It gets placed on the center of the print bed. We're going to click on the print. It's come out very small. But that's fine. We can go over to scale on the left. We can either enter a percentage or we can use this button here. So we're going to scale up the print. We're then going to go to rotate. We're going to move it so it's flat on the print bed. So down on the bottom right we have our estimated print time. Bear in mind this is an estimation and it's not always accurate. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, um, so on the right hand side we have our print settings. I'm using PLA, so I've got that set in my material. My print printer profile is an ANET A3 printer, so I've got that set. My layer height, I'm using 0 0.2. You can use 0 0.1 for finer detail. And all the rest of the settings I'm leaving on default. We're using an infill density of 15%. You will need to use an infill density on this print. I have used lower before and it hasn't worked. So we're also using supports. So we need to make sure generate support is ticked. And we can preview this by going to view mode, layers. And here we get a preview of the layers in our print. We can cycle through them. So uh, supports are for areas of your print that have overhangs. So as you can see on the tail here, there is an overhang, so supports are generated. Okay, so let's um, save this to our SD card. I already have my SD card inserted. I'm gonna hit save to removable drive. That's been completed, so we now hit eject, and we now just need to pop our micro SD into our 3D printer. I've inserted the SD card into the printer, so we'll now turn it on. We'll go into the menu to print from SD. And there we have our file, our .stl file, so we select that. The printer will start to heat up. Um, my printer's already pretty hot because I just leveled the bed, which you should do. If you want a guide for this, I will put a suggestion at the top of the video. I'm just using my phone camera at the moment guys, so the quality isn't great, but hopefully you can see the first layer is going down pretty well.
So the print's been going two hours and eight minutes. We're on 98% and here is the current progress. And there we go, our print's complete. So this should just pop off the print bed, hopefully. There we go, you can see the support structure. So, I'm gonna get my little toolkit out and we're gonna clean this up. So this support structure should just pull away. We need to be careful because this tail is pretty fine, so we don't wanna break that. This leg also looks loose which is not good unfortunately during the print these two back legs did not seem to have printed properly but that's not a problem um, we're going to glue these back on during the cleanup process they simply just fell off we're just going to use some super glue. This is my little 3D print toolkit. Just a very basic set. I'll put a link for this in the description. And I also have a uh, just a little paint set acrylic paint for my models. So this is just literally a quick paint job. A lot of you can probably do a lot better than me. I'm not great at painting, but it really is fun painting your own models. I'd recommend giving it a try. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And hey, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this one.